we have behind me here, as it turned out and was discovered in the process of creating it, I had said the good novels have allowed me a tree line to sculpt. A tree line of some unknown indigenous tree that we will find out what it is. Um, it is at the western side of Canterbury. In the distance is the Canterbury Cathedral, which is now framed by the clear, the trimmed tree line and the one inch Hessian, Hessian uh, brownish uh, line that uh, is looped to be somewhat Gothic. And in truth, what we have here is a primitive rude screen at the western gate of Canterbury created in celebration of Queen Elizabeth II's Jubilee, put together, no, put together, somewhat revealed and found all native materials uh, on Good Friday and Holy Saturday of 2012, April 6 and 7, I think, um, done by me, Jim Bogan, with the blessing and permission of Ronnie and Catherine Neville. And it was uh, a great, wondrous opportunity for me to try my luck. And uh, I am sitting on the world's most solid seat. This is which, I'll shoot right over my head. I have to be on direct. Is centered in this oval that traverses the tree line. In the distance we have the cathedral and Canterbury spread out in the east. Behind me is the west, over here is the north, over here is the south, there is up, there is down and beautiful pasture and valley ahead of us. Uh, there's a fire ring that uh, will come in handy. And along the uh, barbed wire fence that came in very handy are staves of wood. Do we call them staves? We do call them staves of wood. Sixty in number uh, for the years of Queen Elizabeth's queenship. I hasten to add here that I saw her receive her crown in 1952 on a black and white television. It was the first transatlantic broadcast of anything on television, and that's one of my first memories, actually. And for a queen, she's a very good one. Uh, let's see. There's a, a, uh, all the cuttings from the trees that were kind of bristly are now in that... Uh, slash pile there that makes a nice volume. The deer like this area. There were sign of deer and the birds will like that and some midsummer night or winter solstice. It should be torched. It should not be mulched. It should be torched. <laughs> uh, and it's just one of the more agreeable spots on earth right here and I feel extremely privileged to beyond Upper Paradise in Brazil, and we are going to wonder where it should go. Right, I'm actually liking this thing already. Going to the seal. So there are magic terms about this place. Salt at this, this brings good luck, and so anybody who will take the time to Realize which way is north, south, east, west, up, down, in, and out. We'll get the great blessing of knowing where they are. So we'll put this in here and look for the best. Somebody might walk away with it someday, but it'll still be working. So, my huge pleasure to 
be able to stretch myself out against this very charmed